I always thought Boozy was in the closet. Um, I feel like he go in on the LGBTQ community um, too hard. I always felt that he is in denial and that's a cover up for who he really is. I wouldn't be surprised if Boozy be getting it in behind closed doors. And I think he's a top and a bottom. I think he's both. Like I told y'all before, when he was in that interview with Mike Tyson, it seemed like he simmered down a little bit. Go watch the um hot boxing. When he came in that room, he was on 10. Before that interview was over, he calmed that down. Yeah, he knew he knew a real man was in the room. Okay. Boozy be getting that getting his butt blown in on the low, in my opinion. I always thought that. Um allegedly okay um that's just my opinion i feel that um boozy be you know getting at work okay um you cannot convince me that okay you don't like gay people or you don't like people being gay but my thing is you have no right to mistreat people or, um, you know, criticize people or be mean to people because you don't like their lifestyle, okay? Um, just because you don't agree with something, that does not mean that you know, you have a right to shame them. I feel like he goes in too hard. Like, he goes in too hard. Like, okay, you don't have to agree with that. I always felt like when people um cohabitate under the same roof, and let's just say... You know, how can I say this? Okay, I'm going to just come right out and say it. I don't feel people should be under the same roof or the same gender raising a family. I don't feel that way. I feel like you could confuse the children, okay? But just because I don't agree with it, that doesn't mean I'm going to go on some big tangent and bash somebody for doing it, okay? You cannot tell people what to do. I'm not in y'all house. I'm not paying y'all bills. How am I, how the hell am I going to tell you um you shouldn't have, you know, those kids in there laid up with the same gender that can confuse the kids. I can't do that. That's y'all house. Y'all run y'all house the way y'all want to run y'all house. Just because it just goes to show just because you don't agree with something that doesn't give you any right to you know, be hateful about it. You basically, I mean, you could see it and you could say yourself, mm. but I mean, we all have something that the next person could say, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, um, we all have something that the next person could say something about. I don't like a loud man. Therefore, Boozy is not the type of guy. I don't like the, um, this may come to surprise. I don't like the watches, the loud guy, the potty mouth. Um, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Like, that's not my type of guy. I like the, um, laid back, you know, um. Let me tell y'all something. You want to know how I know Mike Tyson good in bed? When he do that hot boxing and he just be like, <sighs> you know, just something about that. His vibe. I know he'll tear it up. You know, even with his um speech like that. Hey, I got a speech impediment too. I've heard women say on the radio. It sounds crazy. It sounds retarded. I don't think it sounds retarded because a lot of the words that I have pronounced my words, people say it's crazy. Some people hear my speech impediment. Some people don't. 
When I say Screep, a lot of people mock me for that. They say Screep doesn't have a K on the end. Okay. Um, what's another one that I F up? A couple of my words. If you watch a couple of my videos, you'll hear it. Some people do, some people don't. Therefore, I told y'all my good Judy back in the day, he had a bad stutter. Um, well, he won't. I do think he was on the low, but I loved him anyhow. And I told him that. And it's crazy because he never got mad. He never got mad. But anyway, we was that we was honest with each other. We had that kind of relationship. Um, but that was something we bonded over. The fact that I had a speech impediment and he had a bad stutter. That's why I always tell y'all when two misunderstood people come together, they usually make a good bond. Um, with that being said, I do believe um Boosie is in the closet. Um and I do believe he picks and chooses like Tyson told him in the interview. Go back and watch the Mike Tyson. Um, shout out to him. Go back and watch the Mike Tyson hot boxing interview what he did with Boosie. You'll see how he came in in the room and Tyson just ugh, I always love me some Mike Tyson. Um, I feel like he's misunderstood. I really do. And it just goes beyond his speech. You know, um, I feel like he I, he give me the vibe that he good in bed. If I'm not mistaken, he's a cancer. So that means he's very passionate. Do I believe he did a lot of things back in the day? He had no business, yes. As we all have had things that... Um, we have not practiced the best judgment in. And don't give me no BS out. Like, you always been perfect. Whatever. You got skeletons. Like, you know, don't do not do that. Don't do that. Um, And I'm like this. If I meet a person that I like, they ain't never did shit. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be bothered. No way. But um, other than that, like I said, I do believe Boosie in the closet. And I'm glad his daughter had the courage to come out and tell her truth. Um, because when you have a father like Boosie that constantly bashes people in that community, um, it, I could see how it could probably be scary to come out because it's like, damn, if I come out, he ain't going to like me or he'll, he'll bash me, you know, um, I know a lot of people say he does that to get clout, but, and I think he does, but I do also think, you know, he's in the closet. I think it's a cover up. In closing, I do think it's a cover up. I think it's one of those things where he, he does it and he does it on the low and he says that so they so people he may say like shoot if I say this they'll never suspect that I'm that way and to be honest I could see him years down the road coming out and saying he finally accepted his truth I could see that for him um and if he if and when he do he gonna break the internet because baby the way he go on his tangents um and like my my um good judy that was actually out told me back in the day um the main ones that's always bashing it are the main ones that be you know in love with it on the low and i could see that for him i could see that for him because like i say you don't have to agree with it but you don't have to bash it you could feel how you feel, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be mean and make millions and millions of videos being hateful, calling people names and stuff. It comes across as what are you hiding, but I'm going to leave it alone.